Hello students, welcome to an academy. Uh, today in internal combustion engine, I am going to discuss one more topic which is related to fuel air cycle and this topic is condition for maximum temperature and pressure of constant volume fuel air cycle and the characteristics of the constant volume fuel air cycle. So let's start our topic. These are the contents of today's lesson. First I will discuss about the condition for maximum temperature and pressure for constant volume fuel air cycle as well as I will discuss different character, uh, characteristics of the fuel air cycle. I will try to cover these two topics in today's lesson. So let's start our lesson with the condition of maximum temperature and pressure in the constant volume fuel air cycle. Here you can see a PV diagram. This PV diagram is representing, uh, here you can see the cycle 1, 2, 3, 4. The cycle 1, 2, 3, 4 is representing the cycle with constant specific heat. And this constant specific heat cycle is always called air standard cycle. And you can also see here a uh, cycle 1, 2 dash, 3 dash and 4 dash here. So this cycle is the cycle with variable specific heat and this variable specific heat means it is the fuel air cycle. And here we are considering during process 1, 2 and during also during process 1, 2 dash. This 1, 2 is for air standard cycle and this process 1, 2 dash is for the fuel air cycle. So for this for both this process we are considering reversible adiabatic compression and for process 2 3 we are considering constant volume heat addition as well as for process 2 dash 3 dash we are considering uh, constant volume heat addition similarly for 3 and 4 and 3 dash and 4 dash we are considering reversible adiabatic expansion and similarly for 4 and 4 uh, 4 1 and 4 dash 1 we are considering constant volume heat rejection so here there is a constant volume heat addition that is why it is called constant volume fuel air cycle. As we know for the air standard cycle the working fluid is air and for the fuel air cycle the working fluid is the mixture of fuel and air. So here you can see uh, during the process 1 2 there is a const uh, there is a reversible adiabatic compression and for process 1 2 dash there is a, also a reversible uh, adiabatic compression but the pressure and temperature during the fuel air cycle is slightly lower than the air standard cycle and uh, this is the, the reason behind it is the mixture of fuel and air during the fuel air cycle. So because of that the pressure and temperature at the end of the compression will be slightly lower than the air standard cycle. Similarly the pressure and temperature at the end of the combustion in the fuel air cycle is also lower than the air standard cycle. So because of that the work area for the fuel air cycle is will be less compared to air standard cycle and this work area will affect the efficiency of the cycle. So as per that we can say the efficiency of fuel air cycle is slightly lower than the air standard cycle. Now let's discuss the different condition for maximum temperature and pressure in the constant volume fuel air cycle. The first condition is maximum temperature or the temperature at point 3. At point 3 the, the, we consider the maximum temperature. The point 3 is the uh, uh, point after combustion. That's why we consider maximum temperature there. And this maximum temperature is always considered at 6% rich mixture. 6% more rich mixture than chemically correct ratio. So here we can say uh, if, if the mixture is lean in that condition the temperature will be less because of the less combustion but if the mixture is rich in that condition the temperature will increase. Now if the mixture is chemically correct at that point we will consider the condition of chemical equilibrium and at the condition of chemical equilibrium there are some oxygen still present into the cylinder and at that point because of that oxygen uh, that more fuel can burn or we can say 
up to 6% of the fuel can burn after chemically uh, correct mixture so if the mixture is richer than 6% of the chemically correct mixture in uh, that condition we will attain the maximum temperature condition and after that if the mixture is richer than 6% in that condition uh, the formation of carbon monoxide takes place and because of that temperature into the cylinder will start decreasing so this is the condition of maximum temperature into the cylinder uh, the maximum temperature we can uh, attain at 6% rich mixture as well as the air fuel ratio will be 14 ratio 1 for the maximum temperature as well as the relative air fuel ratio will be 1.06 so because uh, this is the condition for the maximum temperature now the next condition is maximum pressure maximum pressure we also considered at the same point at point 3 as we know i discussed in the previous lecture as per this relation pv equal to nrt the pressure is always depends on the temperature as well as the number of molecules and and uh, for the constant volume fuel air cycle the maximum temperature we can attain when the mixture is 20% richer than the chemically correct mixture the mixture should be 20 percent rich uh, uh, than the chemically correct mixture i this I, I also discussed in previous lecture with the help of one diagram and here the air fuel ratio should be 12 ratio 1 and here the maximum pressure will be maximum at the 20 percent rich mixture next point is temperature T4 or this temperature T4 is also called the exhaust temperature when the exhaust stroke starts so it is called exhaust temperature and this exhaust temperature is always maximum at the chemically correct mixture this is always maximum at the chemically correct mixture see if we consider the mixture is lean uh, so in that condition uh, less combustion takes place that result less temperature and if we are considering rich mixture in that condition incomplete combustion takes place that affect the uh, decrease in temperature that that also affect the temperature the temperature is also decrease in that condition because of the formation of carbon monoxide so we can say uh, uh, there is no effect takes place during the chemical equilibrium there is no effect takes place uh, because of the chemical equilibrium due to low temperature so here we can consider we uh, the this t4 maximum at the chemically correct mixture next point is mean effective pressure mep or mean effective pressure and as i told you that mean effective pressure is maximum is uh, at always at slightly rich mixture or we can say the mean effective pressure is maximum at 5 to 10 percent of uh, uh, the chemically correct mixture 5 to 10 percent more of the chemically correct mixture at that point mean effective pressure is maximum and the air fuel ratio at that point is uh, 13 ratio 1 and the relative air fuel ratio this relative air fuel ratio is the ratio of actual air fuel ratio divided by chemically correct fuel air ratio this fr will be 1.05 and this mean effective pressure is always depends on the maximum pressure and the exhaust pressure and this mean effective pressure is also depends on the compression ratio it uh, increases with the increase of compression ratio and if the compression ratio is increasing in that condition efficiency of the cycle will also increase now let's discuss the different characteristics of the constant volume fuel air cycle these are some characteristics of the constant volume fuel air cycle the first characteristic is the efficiency is not only depends on the compression ratio as well as the fuel air ratio but the efficiency of the fuel air cycle is also depends on different variable which affect the efficiency these variables are pressure temperature maximum pressure maximum temperature mean effective pressure etc so the efficiency is uh, affected by all these var variables as well as the compression ratio and fuel air uh, fuel air ratio next point is 
Efficiency is always increases with the decrease in fuel air ratio. If the fuel air ratio is variable, and in that condition, the efficiency is also variable. Uh, we can say the efficiency increases when the fuel air ratio decreases, and efficiency decreases when the fuel air ratio increases. And the reason behind it is increase in specific heat and dissociation at high temperature. Third point is. expansion temperature always decrease with increase in fuel air ratio here when the fuel air ratio increases the expansion temperature is also or the expansion temperature is always uh, decreases uh, and why this expansion temperature decreases this expansion temperature decreases because of incomplete combustion takes place into the cylinder because of rich mixture so if the fuel air ratio increases in that condition the expansion temperature decreases that result decrease in efficiency and uh, that result increase in relative air fuel ratio that fr is the relative air fuel ratio so these are the characteristics of the constant volume fuel air cycle thank you so much for watching and please subscribe the channel for more lectures